I'm Jessica Dene Early Cha, an Android Developer Relations Engineer, and welcome to learning about the three tiers of large screen quality on Google Play. With more than a quarter billion large screen Android devices today, it's more important now than ever to ensure your application runs well on large screens. Starting with Android 12L, Feature Drop, and building onto it with Android 13, Android makes it easier to multitask and interact with your app in ways beyond the traditional portrait-oriented phone experience we're all too familiar with. And the work you do will also have an effect on the Play Store listing. In Play homepages, we'll now be featuring and promoting high-quality large screen apps. Android users will also see ratings and reviews specific to the form factors that they're browsing for. For example, tablet users will see apps, ratings, and reviews submitted by other tablet users to better identify apps that work well on the device they're using. To learn more about these changes in Google Play, specific to large screens and form factors, take a look at Allison's talk, Make Your App Shine for All Devices in Google Play. In this talk, though, we'll be exploring how Google's providing actionable and practical guidance to make it easier for you to improve your app for large screens and to take advantage of the large and growing user base. To make things actionable and easy to follow for developers, we've broken our large screen quality guidance into three tiers. Tier three is basic support. Your app will be full screen and fully usable on all display sizes. Your app UI and layout can look like a blown up version of your phone UI, but everything's functional. Tier two is better support. You've provided an optimized app UX for all screen sizes, meaning the large screen specific UI and layouts. We recommend that all apps hit tier two large screen support to provide great experience for users. Tier one is the best support. At this point, your app is differentiated on large screen devices. You take full advantage of the form factors to enable new scenarios that might not be possible on traditional phones. It is also possible to not achieve any of these tiers and can be a large screen restricted app. If your app is large screen restricted, it has functional or usability issues, or it runs in the runtime compact mode. Let's jump into each of these tiers from worst to best, starting with the large screen restricted. If your app is large screen restricted, it has issues impacting usability on large screens. One example of this is your app crashes unexpectedly due to configuration changes or the window size changing. For example, a device going from folded to unfolded could crash your app. Now let's look at what it takes to achieve large screen tier three. As a reminder, large screen tier three means your app runs in the full screen on all displays and is fully usable on all form factors. One often overlooked area of support on Android is input support. Android apps on Chrome OS and on tablets are highly likely to be used with physical keyboards or mouses or trackpads. In tier three, your app should be fully usable with physical keyboards, mouse, or trackpads. We'll explore this briefly later in this talk, but if this topic is something you want to learn more about, I recommend watching Gina and Miguel's talk, The Key to Keyboard and Mouse Support Across Tablets and Chrome OS here at ADS. Since multitasking is much more prevalent on large screen devices, you'll need to make sure that your app state persists when the display of your app changes. This is critically important on foldables. When a user may go from a folded to unfolded while using her app, or resizing in a multi-window on tablets, or the freeform window on Chromebooks could break your app. The good news is that there are many tools you could use depending on the technology your app is using. For user experiences, we recommend all apps hit at least large screen tier two, where you provide an optimal UX for your app on all display sizes and types let's take a look at what you can do to achieve large screen tier two. The biggest area of improvement we see for most apps in tier two is around UI and layout. It's one thing to take your existing phone UI and design and blow it up to work in a landscape or tablet or foldables, but it's way better to provide a display specific layout. In addition, we've been working on design specific resources. Take a look at the Material Canonical Layouts Design Guidance to see what's the most common types of app layouts 
and how they expand well to all display sizes. Additionally, updating your app's navigation UI is important to provide the most reachable and usable experiences, regardless of display size. To learn more about large screen specific design, take a look at our Designing for Large Screens, Canonical Layouts, and Visual Hierarchy talk at ADS. In addition to large screen optimized UI and layouts, your app should also have improved keyboard, mouse, and trackpad support. For example, common keyboard shortcuts and actions should be supported, such as copy paste, undo and redo, and more. Now that we've learned what it takes to achieve tier two, let's learn more about how apps can go beyond to be differentiated with tier one. Tier one means your app provides an amazing experience on large screen devices. You've done the work to enable new user experiences that are enabled or best on large screen form factors. This is an open-ended tier and use cases will vary depending on exactly what your app does. Large screens can unlock new potentials in all varieties of apps. And our team has researched, developed, and published design and layout specifics to multiple app verticals. For example, media apps might be the most interested in tabletop support for foldable devices, which you can implement by observing the device's physical hinge state using the Jetpack Window Manager folding feature interface. Check out the new layout design on our docs under large screen gallery. These are just a few ways your app can go above and beyond to achieve tier one. With the increasing variety of form factors and peripherals, I can't wait to see the engaging and useful experiences Android developers provide in their apps. To learn more about the large screen quality guidelines and associated documentation, check out the link in the description. Thank you and have a great Android Developer Summit.